What's going on everybody? It's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you 23 Cydia tweaks that I think are really cool and are the ones that I currently have installed on my iDevice. Now I did this video a little while ago and it was actually about 30 minutes long so I have to I decided to start over but this time I'm going to go through them much quicker than I did the first time. So first up I have AT&T carrier logo for the iPhone 4. Not everybody's going to use this because not everybody has AT&T but you can see it right there my carrier logo changed to AT&T so that's what that one is. Next up is a tweak called barrel basically it gives your uh, springboard pages an animation so you can see that when I'm going to my second page the icons sort of curl up and roll away. I'm going to quickly show you the settings for this. So here we have barrel and you can pretty much change the different effect that you would like to use. So that is pretty cool. Number three is Bita font and I don't actually have any fonts installed but what this does is it lets you change the font on your iDevice. So you can see that I don't have any third party fonts installed but that's what Bita font does. Is it lets you change the font. Number four is a tweak called camera buttons and basically what this lets you do is use your volume buttons to take pictures. So uh, let me change to the front facing camera. So you can see that if I push one of the volume buttons it will take a picture. Sometimes it crashes, like every so often it will crash before taking a picture so you have to start it up again and take a picture. So really really cool to take pictures with uh, like that and if you have a headset, you know a little earbud, three and a half millimeter head earbuds with the volume buttons on it you could actually use the volume buttons on that to also take the pictures so remote picture taking is pretty cool here's the settings for it. you could turn it on and off change what you want the volume buttons to do so that is camera buttons number five is a doodle jump hack for version 1.2.1 or 1.21 basically what it lets you do is it gives you a whole bunch of rockets and you can pretty much fly right through a level so you can see in this one I'm at almost 92,000 points and you can see that my character is huge for some reason and you can see that there's rockets all over the place so you could pretty much never lose if you use this hack but you know it's not really fair to the people who play regularly so you can see that I'm already up by 50,000 points since we started and that's <laughs> that's pretty much what this hack does and you don't even have to really do anything to get through the level so that is the doodle jump hack. Number six is a quick little tweak called five icon dock. It lets you add a fifth icon to your dock. I was going to use InfiniDock, but it doesn't work properly in iOS 4.3.1. So I just use five icon dock because it works. It does what I want it to do and it's free. Number seven is a tweak called folder enhancer. And basically it lets you add, it, it lets you do so much to your folders. You could put folders in folders. You could add an unlimited number of folders or applications to your folders. You could swipe through them horizontally, you could scroll vertically through your folders, it's just really cool. And if I go back, you can see that I have a folder inside of a folder. The animation for opening it is also instant and it's perfectly smooth, perfect 60 frames per second when uh, doing that. Let me go ahead and show you the settings for it really quick. Here they are. Uh, I'll let you look at those on your own. Most people have Folder Enhancer, that's a must-have tweak right there. Number eight is Graviboard, and basically this lets you, it's a nice little novelty tweak. Uh, if I hold my home button for a little bit, it'll basically turn your springboard into this little gravitational board. You can just fling your icons around. and Not really useful, but it's nice to play around with. Uh, let me show you the settings for it really quick. It basically lets you change your activation method. Right now I have it for short press of the home button. You could also change your gravitational mode and some other things, so that is pretty nice. It's nice to have just to play around with every so often. Number nine is a tweak called Gridlock. There's no setting or there's no settings panel for this, and there's not an application for it. But basically, it lets you put any of your icons or folders anywhere on the grid. So you can see that I'm moving them around, and they stay where I put them. I'm just gonna put them back really quick just like that. Number 10 is iFile. This is an application that I think everybody should have. <clears throat> um, 
It basically lets you browse the entire file system on your jailbroken device. You could start a web server, you could zip files up, you could email them to people, you could, you could transfer files through Bluetooth with this. Uh, it just lets you do a whole bunch of things. It's a must-have for anybody who's jailbroken. Uh, I use it every single day for a whole number of different reasons. Next up for number 11 is Installus. Um, I'm sure all of you already know what that is. It basically lets you install cracked applications onto your jailbroken iDevice. You don't even have to be jailbroken to install cracked apps, but this just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, you know, use this responsibly. I use it for testing apps before I pay for them. Every single app I have on my phone is paid for. All of these I have paid for. So that's what Installus does. Number 12 is a pretty cool tweak called Lock Info. It basically lets you put a whole bunch of different information onto your lock screen so you could view it at a glance. So it's really customizable. This section right here is my Lock Info. Uh, you know, it'll catch your notifications, it'll show any missed calls, and a whole bunch of things. And it also lets you bring it up on your home screen. You could have it there as a page, or you could uh, use Info Shade, which lets you view the same information anywhere using Activator. So I have it so if I swipe down my status bar, it will bring down my thing here. And I primarily use Lock Info for my notification system. It just all goes right here and I can open it whenever I like. It's just really simple. Um, here is some of the settings for it. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'm not going to go through everything, but it's very customizable. There's a number of plugins for Lock Info. Here's a HTC plugin that I'm not using anymore. So that is Lock Info. Number 13 is an app called Mobile Terminal. Basically, it's a terminal for your iDevice. It lets you run different commands. You could do shell scripts. You could uh, kill certain processes that might be running in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and kill terminal by running kill all terminal. And there you go. Let's see what's next. Number 14 is QTweeter. And basically, it lets you post to Twitter and Facebook, or it lets you post to multiple Twitter and Facebook accounts at the same time. You could choose which ones you want to uh, send to. You could choose none, both, or just whichever one you want. You could also add pictures and videos. You could add your location. You could add the web page you're looking at through Safari. You could add the song you're listening to. There's just a whole bunch of things that uh, oops, QTweeter can do. For some reason, I can't find it on any official repo. I paid for this a long time ago, and the only place I could find it is on a cracked repo like Insanely I, so I don't know what happened to it. But that is QTweeter. Next up, we have an iPhone theme. The one I'm using right now is called Revi, R-E-V-I, by Chris, K-R-S. Uh, pretty much themes everything on your phone. It's really, really cool. Um, I'm going to go through some of the stock apps for you. Here is Notes. Oops. Here's, let me find one of the other ones. You can see that camera's themed. Which one is this? Oh, it's by default. Which one is this? Here's what the iPod player looks like. It has its own branding right here, but and it has a couple spots where you can see the album art. At first, I thought this was sort of stupid, but after a while, it looks pretty cool. It's sort of created. And then when you go to a song that doesn't have album art, this is what it looks like. It says, no album artwork. Game Center is the same. Here's what weather looks like. Stocks is the same. Voice memos is the same. Um, here's Compass. Compass is really slick looking. I like that a lot. Here is the clock app calculator. That's everything there. Let me go to, oops. Let me go to the phone real quick. Here's what the dialer looks like. Really slick. It also comes with a pretty cool SB settings theme. And it also comes with a nice Q tweeter theme right there. Okay, so that is number 15. Number 16 is a tweak called Safari Download Manager. So if I go ahead and open up Safari, you'll notice that there's a new button down here. And this is for... My camera's out of focus. There we go. And this is basically a download manager that's built in right to Safari. So if I go over to jailbreakzone.com slash files, which is a... Anybody could go to that URL. It basically has... All the files that we're hosting, you can see that we have Ponage Tool 4.3, which is just released yesterday. We are an official mirror on the iPhone Dev Team's blog. So let's say you want to download a zip file. All you have to do is go to it, and then a dialog box will show up, and you can download it to the default directory, which is 
var mobile media downloads or you could choose a directory that you want to save it in i will go over to um mobile and i'll save it there and then it will begin to download and you can see the progress right here on or inside of the download manager I should have picked a, a larger file to download because they usually go faster on 3G, usually about 300 kilobytes a second. Let me go over to the settings really quick so you can see what's in there. You could add different file types that you can download if it doesn't already have one in there. You could change the number of downloads that you could download at once. And that is Safari Download Manager. Next up we have SB Settings, which in my opinion is a must-have for anybody who's looking forward to jailbreaking. Um, Basically, it lets you turn off a whole bunch of different things. It, it lets you adjust things. You can turn 3G on and off, airplane mode, Bluetooth, white, uh, Wi-Fi, data, location services. There's also one for processes, so you could kill certain apps that are running in the background. It also gives you some information about your device down at the bottom. Uh, it lets you refresh this information. You could respring. You could go to different power options. And it also has a number of other things inside of its settings application, so... You could choose the toggles that you want to use. You could change the theme. You could also preview themes before you activate them. <clears throat> uh, you could change the settings for SB settings. You could change. You could hide applications from your, spring, from your Springboard. You could change which mobile substrate extensions that you want enabled, and it lets you change some other things in System Options. 18 is Sleep Effects, and in my opinion, this is the coolest one that I have to show you guys. So when I put my phone to sleep, you're going to notice the really cool little animation and a sound effect. So it was almost like an old TV shutting off. And I also have it set so that the same thing happens when you are waking up from sleep. So let me go ahead and show you the settings really quick. It has a number of different effects that you can use. I like TV Tube the best. Let me go over to Fade Tiles. That one's pretty obvious. There it is. So I'm going to put it back to TV tube. You could also add a sound effect. You could also enable it so it does the same effect when you wake up. Here's the volume of the sound effect. I'll leave it all the way up. So that is sleep effects. Number 19 is a tweak called synchronicity, and it basically lets you use your iDevice while you're syncing your device with iTunes. So if you're adding a bunch of music to your phone and you still want to use your phone for different things, you could definitely do that. And it will also add a little status bar icon in the upper right when it is syncing to your device so that you know that something is going on. Next up is a tweak called Tether Me and basically it lets you enable the personal hotspot feature on your iPhone running iOS 4.3 or later. If you're on a 3GS or excuse me if you're on iOS 4.2 or below it will add the internet tethering uh, feature instead of personal hotspot. Uh, there's a couple settings for it. Oops. Here they are. You can just change your APN settings. Number 21 is an application called Themeit, and think of this as the app store for themes. It has a bunch of premium themes that cost money, but all of them look pretty cool. Here's some of the featured themes. I'm going to go ahead and find the theme that, I, that I'm currently using, which is called Revy by Chris. Here it is right here. You could buy it if you'd like. You could view more information on it. You could view screenshots. It's a all-in-one application for looking for new themes. The only issue with it is that there's not very many in there. So Cydia is more useful for that at the moment. Number 22 is Winterboard. Hopefully you all know what that is by now. It basically lets you theme your iDevice and, you know, you just check what you want to enable and it, go ahead, it goes ahead and enables. Last but not least is 3G Unrestrictor. And basically what this lets you do is it lets you do anything you want over 3G, including FaceTime, watching HD YouTube videos, downloading apps that are more than, let's say, 50 megs in file size. So 3G Unrestrictor, it's pretty cool. And by the way, FaceTime over 3G works very, very good. I did it almost a year ago when I was in Disneyland and I was riding a roller coaster. I was FaceTiming with somebody while I was riding the roller coaster and it worked perfectly the entire way. So there you go. That was a quick look at 23 cool Cydia tweaks that you can install. I'll just put a list of all of these down below in the description so you, could, so you can check them out yourself. I think that the setup I have right now is the best that I've come up with. I like it a lot. Everything works well. It's very functional and it just I just think it's pretty badass. So that was just 23 of the tweaks that I like. If you have any of your own, you can leave them down below in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.